Okay, you're good. Okay, we're here going to make a antibiotic femoral nail for a uh, femoral osteomyelitis case. We know we've removed a 400 millimeter uh, nail in the past, so we're going to make a 400 millimeter nail. This Elizarov rod is 400 millimeters. You can cut this down to any size that you need with a bolt cutter. What I do is I attach a female hinge to the top part of it, the Elizarov rod. I then tighten it on with a pair of pliers so that it can't come off later. The reason for the female hinge will be for later extraction using a bone hook you're making it easier. The next step is to cut the chest tube. This is a 40 French chest tube which will make a 10 millimeter nail to the appropriate size that we will need today and I do that just by sliding, sliding the uh, the rod into the chest tube and in this case it gets right to the end of the holes so we'll go ahead and cut it off right at the end of the holes today. So our next step is to go ahead and mix our cement with our antibiotics. So I'm using today since we have a very long rod of 40 millimeters, two bags, two 40 gram bags of cement. I choose to use a medium viscosity that's already loaded with some genomycin and I'm going to add vancomycin to the whole mixture. I need the liquid next. Next we're going to go ahead and mix up our cement. And add our polymer. And then pressurize. And we're just pressurizing so we can get the cement into the gun. And we're just using any cement gun works here. I like to wait until the cement gets a little bit doughy. So then we're going to attach this to the gun. And we don't need the extension okay, component. Hold that. We don't need the extension component, so we're going to snap that off. Can you get a doctor on the field? Put the cement gun on the field. Get it till the cement's coming out. And then we're going to go ahead and connect it to the end of the gun. You get that? You have that close? No, right. No, no, no. See? And now we're going to go ahead and fill the chest tube with the antibiotic. Okay. The next step is to go ahead and push the chest tube in. We're going to push it in from this end, but on the far end here, we're going to keep our thumb over the edge to make it pressurize inside of the chest tube so that the nail stays coated with cement throughout. Trying to keep it centered the best we can. Now once we have our cement and our rod in, now we go ahead and bend to whatever shape we need. In case of a femur, a femoral bow. In case of a tibia, a Herzog curve. Now I like to do it in line with the female hinge so that it makes it easier and collinear to take out when you need to get the nail out. So we'll just put a, a little femoral bow on the, on the nail and we'll now leave this to harden. And then at the end we'll cut the nail out. So now we've let our antibiotic rod harden and we're just going to cut it out of our chest tube. I take a 10 blade and I slice it all the way down to the cement. Typically do it on the towel. Good. And then I just kind of peel it off like a banana. <coughs> up with our antibiotic rod with a nice femoral curve and the female hinge in line. Okay. In order to create a tibial nail, we follow the same steps as for a femoral nail. The only difference is the bend that we will place in the nail. 
Okay, now we're going to come to the middle. Here's our nail. And now we're going to put our hoods up for a minute. And now we have an antibiotic nail that mimics a tibial nail. The only thing left to do now is allow the cement to harden and cut the nail out of the chest tube.